I'm still waiting. It's a, a bit fortunate you cannot give us more information about what goes on, by the way. What 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 goes on with the assessment, you mean? Uh, like, for example, I ask you a question, but you are not able to tell me because you are working for we do, but not, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, it's... I'm not on, on the inside. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I do, I do, however, I do have, um, because we have an, another member of uh, Kenyan Women in Germany who mm -hmm. is a part of, um, of the, the we do. Okay, she's on the inside. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything, mm -hmm. I, I could also ask her and she has a little more access. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Let's wait a bit. Maybe in June, in maybe mid June, if there are no news, I'll just get to you and then you can ask her. Yes. But how, mm -hmm. how long has it has it been? Since uh, maybe two three weeks, maybe two. This this must be about the fourth week. I, I don't have the exact information. Okay. I can check on the dashboard and see, then I tell you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I think it it was uh, May. So mm -hmm. uh, we are, we were like, let's wait for May to be over and then we can now. Yeah, uh, because see. normally mm. they say, so they need to come. Okay, first you confirm your receipts and everything. So you, you confirm that you have used the money as you had stated in the investment plan, of course. Mm. After that, the coach and the corner to verify mm. that uh, you have spent the, the money evil. And then mm. after that, um, you now have um, the confirmation that you will receive the widow grant. So sometimes it, it takes longer because of the verification process of your receipts, Namini. Mm -hmm. the problem is. But in this case, the best person to contact if, because um, of course you, you haven't even gotten your second coach visit, since I don't know, I cannot confirm that, but I don't know. I don't know. I love to ask her again. I asked her the question this morning and she didn't give me back uh, the reply. Okay, because I think she has her phone in the evening. The husband must be having the phone daytime, and then I don't know what out there. It's a bit uh, difficult to get information sometimes, but mm -hmm. she, she contacted me anyway. She just yeah. told me, but I know, and then she didn't say anything else, so okay. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all right. Yeah. Um, so let's 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 do this. I think we'll just officially start. I don't mm, know if okay. we have the people joining or not. So what I wanted to do was to mm. go through now very quickly the mm. same presentation that I had before mm. um, on on we do about mm. we do just quickly go through because the idea is that um, this session is for everybody else that has understood what we do is about and just has a few questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will go through that quickly. Okay. I'll just share my screen. We are now live on Facebook. So um, yeah, so let me just officially start. So okay. this is the part two session, the Q&A session on we do. Um, specifically for those who have had a chance to go through we do and have questions about, for example, the registration, um, mm. anything else in the process of okay. okay. So mm -hmm. I will share my screen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. So this is the same presentation that I had. For the first session, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We already know why we do is here to help us assist family and friends who are back home. Mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. the second part of this, the reasons why we do has come up with this initiative. We have mm -hmm. 1.5 billion euros that goes from Europe back to the African continent. Mm -hmm. and this is mainly used for consumption or small payments and such things. So the idea is that with you helping somebody back home, you can make them self-sustainable, right? They can pay their own bills, at least these small, small bills. Secondly, is that um, so many times Africans in the diaspora have wanted to start a project back home. And for one reason or the other, this project does not necessarily get completed because um, 
of reasons that we, we may not be too happy about. So we do has provided a platform that mm -hmm. gives you um, a certain transparency because mm -hmm. once you sign up on the WeDo platform, you, you, you're able to see how the money has been spent by the mm -hmm. by back home through the uploading of receipts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, have, you get a coach to visit the location mm -hmm. of this place to verify that everything that is being stated as having been completed so far is mm -hmm. actually there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A major reason. Yeah. So, Okay, so yeah. this is one of the, well, these are the reasons why the, the We Do initiative was started. So anyway, that's why I also got interested in it because it was very transparent, you know. Exactly, precisely. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good idea. They, they are, maybe you, you, you love questions at the end, but uh, yes. there are some things which are not very, Yes. We'll talk about it anyway. We'll talk about yes, it. Yes. Okay. So the countries that are involved in this from, from the European continent, we have Germany, Austria, Switzerland, and France, meaning that as a mm. country, if you are mm. in any of these four countries, then you're able to register on the WIDU platform to help somebody back home. Mm -hmm. um, it is available not just to Kenya, but Ghana, Togo, our own, and Ethiopia. And Cameroon mm. um, mm. was there, but theirs were stopped because they reached their quota of jobs created. Mm -hmm. So that mm. was up to 2,000 jobs that were created by Cameroon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the concept behind this, very quickly, is that as a diaspora, as, an, as a Kenyan in the diaspora, you are, um, you are able to help somebody back home. How? you will contribute 25% of the total money that you require for this project. The person back home will also make a contribution of 25%. So it will be an equal contribution from both you, the donor, and from the entrepreneur back home. And we do will then match your total contribution. So for example, mm -hmm. the minimum amount that is um, allowed by we do excuse me, is 125 euros from you, the donor, 125 euros from the entrepreneur back home, and we do will give you the sum of that, of those two, which is 250 euros at the end of it. Yeah, and, that's a minimum. Mm. Yes, and a maximum of 1,250 euros mm. from the donor, 1,250 euros from the entrepreneur, and therefore 2,500 sum is mm. what so if for example you agree that you want the maximum amount of the grant from we do which is 2500 mm. it means that you as the donor will contribute 1250 euros into mm. the 1250 euros as well from the entrepreneur back home will also mm. be so that we do can give you the two five Okay. Yeah. Mm. So we know the Corona business grant. In this case, there is no contribution required from you, the donor or the entrepreneur. What you get is 100% contribution from we do still up to a maximum of 2,500 euros. Ah, okay. that one I didn't, I didn't got that one that, that way. You, I don't have to contribute. I can, uh, uh, okay. You continue yes, extending. However, I didn't know that I didn't have to give money for that one. Yes. So, mm. however, the difference mm. with the Corona business grant, because this one was introduced once when the Corona pandemic hit. So what mm. happened is that for you to get the Corona business grant, your business has to be mm. for at least one year. The project has to actively contribute to the response of Corona. Uh, you need to have already the, the, the Corona business. No, your business needs to have mm. been in existence. It has to have been running for at least one year. And ah, okay. So for example, yeah. in uh, if in June, somebody creates uh, a Corona business. Mm -hmm. In June next year, if all goes well, they can get uh, the grant without, um, without having to contribute. No, 
Mm-hmm. Your, your business is running and has been in existence for a year. So for example, you begin a business in June this year. Next, yeah. Then you are you are able to mm-hmm. apply for the We Do Corona Corona Business Grant if it's still available at that time. Okay. Mm-hmm. If the project that you want to begin with this grant is mm-hmm. contributing to the response of Corona. Yeah, that's how I got it. Yeah. But I don't have to give money. No, you do not. For example, yeah, I, mm-hmm. there was the one example of a company in uh, Cameroon that mm-hmm. was producing or ma- manufacturing solar panels. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what they did to get the Corona Business Grant is that they came up with solar powered refrigerators that mm-hmm. were to store the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it needs mm-hmm. to be directly um, relating to the response of Corona. Okay. So this is running and you find a way to, to respond to the Corona pandemic, then you mm-hmm. get the Corona business card. In addition, okay. mm-hmm. the, the project needs to benefit the community as well as the entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. It should be an innovative and creative project. And mm-hmm. if it has a technical aspect to it, then the mm-hmm. You're more likely to get that grant. Okay. It's a bit complicated then, yeah. It's a little more difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah it must be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, um, okay. to, how, how do you how do you imagine that uh, somebody will imagine the the um, solar system is has something to do with Corona? Well, that's the thing. You're running a business. You understand your business well enough that you can think of a way that your business can contribute and help. In Corona, so it's really specific to your business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think, for example, somebody who has a business and employs people who have lost their jobs because of Corona is something which can work? Um, you have a business and you employ people who've lost their jobs. Yeah, because of Corona. Um, in in that case, I don't think so because it's not responding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not it helping. has to fight, yeah, it, it has to fight Corona. That's yes. the thing, yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. So okay. for okay. communication purposes, if yeah. you're in the diaspora, you are a donor mm. and mm. you need certain information. For example, there is a delay with the identification process that you mm. have mm. or something relating to you, then you can write directly to diaspora at video.africa and mm. you will be responded to. If you're somebody, if you're the entrepreneur back in Kenya, so this one, you can tell if, if, if you're a donor right now, like you, Victoria, you can tell mm. the entrepreneur back home that if she hasn't yet had a coach, mm. write to Kenya at Widow Africa to ask them, um, to tell them, so I have gone through the second part of, of my project and I have not yet received my second coach. No. Yeah, but th- that's another os- another issue because uh, the last time I think about two weeks I wrote, mm-hmm. I only got a-, a mail telling me that we have received your message and all that, but I never got any feedback. So the, the uh, communicating through email is not is quite a problem anyway. Mm-hmm. But com- okay, so the issue is that the only <laughs> communicating through mail is the only option that we have currently. Yeah, but they need to reply anyway, anyway. So anyway, they, the, once they replied when I had problems, they replied then they took long, so. Yeah, so normally, normally, mm. they mm. should reply within, I would say two days. They should mm-hmm. reply within two days. If mm. not, then you can write mm. again, but normally they are quick to respond, okay? Mm. Um, yes, that's yes. <clears throat> Can I ask a question, hello? Hello. So my name is Virginia, and uh, I applied this um, Corona bonus or the Corona grant. Ah, there's a lot of nice Virginia here, please. I'm sorry, I don't have babysitter and the kids are at home. It's okay. It's okay. Uh huh. Just ask your question. Yeah, and so then um, my brother have have a portion meal. But mm-hmm. we wanted to do the grant one. We have the grant one, but we wanted to do with the Mudokoi, the part of Mudokoi. So we do it have enough money to buy the part of Mudokoi mm-hmm. and the stock to buy the 
the maze because we wanted to be doing tenders to supply schools, something like mm -hmm. that. So I wrote this proposal that you have mm -hmm. already a portion mill. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to expand the another machine, what, you, what was missing, the Mubakoi part. And also we buy the stock so we can also start uh, doing the mail and the Mubakoi and we supply to schools. But um, they gave me an email, it's not uh, uh, granted, but they don't give a reason why. So um, for the Corona Business Grant, I'm not sure um, when did you apply for it? Is this recent? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so currently, as I was explaining before, for the Corona Business Grant, the requirements are, first of all, the, your business has to have been in existence for at least one year. But more importantly, the project that you're applying for needs to contribute to the response of Corona. Yani, you need to be helping against Corona, fighting Corona in some way for the Corona Business Grant. Of course, because I said we want to employ like um, to akumsaidia, we begin to transport, and also it's a way also for the people we buy the uh, the mains from the farmers. Also, we are helping them also to develop market there. Yes, but that is more of creating employment and um, in increasing business, but not directly assisting with the fight against Corona. So the Corona Business Grant is specifically for businesses fighting against Corona. So I gave an, an example earlier that there was a, a company, for example, that was um, manufacturing solar panels. And what they did is that they came up with the idea of solar powered refrigerators that store the Corona vaccine, right? So it needs to be directly contributing to the fight against Corona. Kamani, making masks, for example, it needs to be, you know, that one is helping against Corona. I get it now, I get it, okay. Yeah. I was thinking so, is the people who are, were affected by Corona and then they want to, no. to boost their income. Mm. Initially, it was that, but for the past two months, they, they changed their, their regulations for the Corona Business Grant. So now this is, these are the, the requirements. So it's a little more complicated for this one. I get it now. So, so the, the, the best case right now would be to apply for an, another original grant. Come on, Maleza. Yeah. All right. I'll do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, also, um, Victoria, I, I don't know if you have another question. So easy. Wait. Uh, um, uh, what I I just wanted to ask Virginia a question. Mm -hmm. Your business has been there for one year. Did you say that? Yeah, the business uh, we opened last year because my my brother lost the job. And yeah. then we said we make a portion meal. Ah, okay. So it's uh, it's been there for one year. Okay. Yeah, it is there mm, from the mm, last year. Mm, 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 okay. Uh, well, um, what I wanted to ask is, um, although I know you're not the you're not the one who makes the decision, but uh, mm -hmm. this idea of always having to to sponsor people it limits the the customers, I mean, it limits the number of people to, because for example, me, I have so many people I would want to help, but I don't have sponsors. So I know we can be, you can be sponsors for up to three times, yeah? Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know that there's another way of helping people. Uh, well, for example, uh, giving them a grant through a diaspora person without the diaspora person giving money because giving money is always a problem. You understand? Um, yes, I understand. But in, in this case, as I mentioned, the reasons why we do began this specific in, in initiative is because money is being sent home, you know, as I mentioned, up to 1.5 billion every year is sent back home for small consumption purposes. So the idea is to help the, the family or friend that you normally send money to, could mm. you so that you don't need to be sending this money? And one, ah, okay. other reason, one other reason is for, so you will already be spending money. You'll already be sending money, money to, to this person. 
but we also make them invest some money to ensure that they they also put in effort into this business that is created. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. So in fact, the, the idea of we do is just for those who have been sending money to Kenya, not for for people yeah. who want, who would want to help others. Okay. No, okay. No. Mm, 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 mm. okay. And you wouldn't be in a position to propose such things or not? Um at the moment, no. But yeah. But, um, mm. The, I'm I'm sure there are other other ways to, to do that, but not specifically with this window. Yeah, because once you sponsor one person, you can imagine sponsoring another two people. It's I mean financially, it's uh, it's too heavy. Yes. I yes. don't know. What do you think, Virginia? Virginia, what do you think? Like me, I asked this question before because I've been. I I also attended another meeting. Then I was applying, and I tell mm -hmm. them, for example, I'm in a Elton site, and it's so challenging for me also to say I've been helping my brother, my mother, my other brother, my sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't have this cash to find. Yeah, out. you cannot. Yeah, yeah. And I I really as much I want to help them. I'm not financially stable. Mm. Yeah, and at least what, if you have sponsored one person, they can at least see that you are willing to help people. There should be a way of being able to, to help them without sponsoring two, three, four, five times because we are also struggling, as you are saying, Virginia. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what you think uh, about that, Clara. I mean, you've explained that they have their procedure and all that, but uh, it's quite difficult anyway. And that's why it's difficult to get people to, to participate, you understand? You were telling me that it would be good if there are people participating, Clara. Yes, there's a very low number of Kenyans signing up. Yeah, yeah, but it's because of uh, that why, problem. The that reason why of... is that there hasn't been enough communication to the Kenyans about this. So there's a little lack of trust because they don't believe that the grant actually happens, Amma, that we might have to pay. Yeah, yeah, there's that problem, but there's still also the problem of uh, having to give money as a sponsor because... Uh, okay, so... Um, For me, I, I was also put off understand. again because it, uh, the grant I was thinking is Corona, is somebody having a business, they want to expand this person, they want to promote this person, and you just sit on computer almost the whole night filling the papers, calling the people in Africa, having problem going to cyber you just waste like three four days almost one week at the end of the time it's not going through you will not lose morally it is mm -hmm. really yeah and then i was like should i do it should i come i ask i say okay i can ask why it was not granted now i know the reason but i i didn't even have the energy to come again because you think how oh, you sacrifice the time and even they don't give you a real reason or they know that you have a number there they can't call you I was like, yeah, that's, mm, that's a big problem, actually. Communication with them is quite uh, complicated, Clara. That, those are things so you talk I to did, them about anyway. I did communicate to them about the whole, for example, um, with the investment plan. In the first step, it is very rigorous. It is very tiresome because you need to really understand how exactly you're going to spend the money. Um, but the, the one thing that they said, for example, the difficulty in uh, filling in the investment plan, that one cannot be reduced because that one is supposed to really make you understand what exactly you're spending your money on, right? So a, a little bit of effort needs to be put into that, especially on mm. the entrepreneur side, right? Mm. Mm. That one is, will, will not necessarily change, but in terms of um, really explaining what the problem is, once you get an error, explaining what the problem is, I did speak to them ab about that. And I think um, for the few cases that I've had um, recently, they list down exactly what you've done wrong or what you need to look into. For example, if you put in salaries for like a whole year, I'm a rent for a whole year, or if you haven't, or if you've gone beyond the limit of the investment plan, the amount that you put in. So far, that has been explained. So for example, um, Virginia, with your case, um, I think maybe they, they put in um, that you did not meet the corona, the, the we do regulations yeah. or something along those lines, yes. So because in, in this case, the, the regulations for the corona business grant changed. 
So that one should be known to an extent that it needs to be something contributing towards the fight against corona, right? Yeah. So, but if it is an area with your application, with your proposal, I believe they should break it down. If they don't have the authority, you have the authority to ask them, to ask them exactly why, like what problem is this? Can you explain to me exactly what it is? And if not, you are able to speak to me and we can try and go through it and figure out exactly what it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I was applying through the tag, I also was uh, right, writing to the guy and I tell him uh, they didn't grant me, but I was in Mutakin Ku. I just came home this week. Okay. Uh, the, the four weeks I was not there, but then I say maybe I'll follow up. Okay. Now so I have time, yeah. Mm, so you wrote to, to, to somebody who was in, who was in Widu? Yeah, um, okay, it's email. a guy from Cameroon who was teaching us. I, I think the name is, I have to check the name. Hmm. Mark, Mark Mbeleu? Romeo, Romeo or Romeo, something like that. Okay, I don't know him. Um, but he's, he's also a, a Widu consultant? Yeah, yeah. He, okay. he teaches in the, I think, the women group where I, I met them first time. All right. All right. So in, in, in that case, normally as a, as a consultant or as, or as um, somebody who is training, they don't necessarily have answers as to why something has gone wrong. Africa from the right to or you write to um, diaspora at udu.africa. And in addition, if the entrepreneur has already been in touch with the coach, the coach that was, that was in initially assigned, thanks Eva, that was initially assigned to, to them, then they have the ability, the authority to write to the coach to ask, you know, exactly how far has it gone? Because ideally, this is the same coach that will be following them until the end of the project because they've already been introduced to them initially. So the entrepreneur all, can also ask the coach directly because usually they should give you a phone call when they meet you or to get your location or anything. So you, so you have that direct communication access, right? So take advantage of, of, of that as well. Sasa, Virginia. Can you go? I think the coach, the coach was, uh, my brother was not conducted by anybody. At, uh, we finished the, everything. I think they just saw it was not in the category and then they just say it's not granted. Um, yes, but uh, you also had, you had, you said that you had the original grant before and that was accepted. No, I just did the Corona, Corona thing, corona the business. only one. The other one I did doing nothing. Mm. Oh, so you were in the first, the very in initial step, the, the proposal part. Um, I already sent everything till business plan. Mm -hmm. and until the business plan and it was accepted. Ah, no, okay. well, this is where now, now they, they, they rejected it because it wasn't in Yes. Line. Okay. Yeah, from the business plan. Mm -hmm. So they didn't, after that, they didn't conduct my brother. Of course, okay. Yeah. And in, in, in this case, the best way to go is to apply for an original grant because your business is not legible for, or, or does not qualify for the Corona business grant, but you can apply for the original grant. I think I do it like that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, Muturi, I don't know if you have any questions. Uh, hi, I I don't have any question at the moment. I just, uh, I don't know how far you have covered and I don't know what you've said so far, but okay. um, maybe, I don't know whether you've covered this, but mm -hmm. maybe the question will be like, uh, if I wanted to apply for the grant, the, mm -hmm. the, 
not the Corona Fund, the grant. Uh, original grant. The original grant, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, should I first uh, like send the money to Kenya to someone who is going to like uh, initiate the business or how does that work? Okay, so no, don't send the money yet. So the way it works is you you first have to register as the Kenyan in, in the diaspora. You register an account on widow.africa. Mm -hmm. And then once you create an account, then you invite the entrepreneur back home via email. So as soon as you register, there'll be a button that tells you to invite the entrepreneur via email. Mm -hmm. The entrepreneur back home then receives this email and creates their own account. Okay? Okay. Then from there, you need to fill in your profile information. I'll just, I will open it on this side and share my screen. I think uh, I've seen that part. I think you yeah. shared okay. that, vi that video yes. before. Yes, yes, um, this video. Yeah. So once you've gone through the, the first part where you have written in your profile and mm -hmm. the entrepreneur has also explained the profile and the business and the project that they're trying to do, and your proposal has been sent in, you've submitted the proposal and it's been, and it's been accepted. Mm -hmm. The coach has visited and verified everything. Once that has been accepted and you're in the second step, then you will be prompted on the widow platform to mm. now send the money and upload proof that you've sent the money. So if, if this is specifically for the widow project, mm -hmm. don't send the money until the project has been accepted because okay. There are cases where people say that, okay, so we started the project and we spent the money, but now the proposal still has issues and, and we're being asked because there are errors and everything. So you cannot send the money for the widow project before you've been prompted on the widow platform to send that money. Otherwise you'll have spent the money before widow has asked. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is the receipts that you upload in the second step needs to be post the acceptance of the proposal. It okay. Okay, to, okay. There will be verification of the use of the money after the proposal and it needs to have be, to have happened after they have accepted. Okay. And now that you've mentioned that some some the project has to be approved first before mm -hmm. like the we proceed with the with the rest of the funding. Uh, so that means there are some projects which will not be accepted. So is there a scope of up to what can make a project not be accepted? Like, I don't know, there's a lot of business which you can do in Kenya. Let's say even a simple thing like maybe someone is just doing motors, motors, motorbike um, mm -hmm. business. Is that something viable? Something like that. Yes. Yes, if it is a, a business that you know will make money, then there's no yeah. reason for we do not to accept it because mm -hmm. the reasons for the project or the initiative is to create employment back home, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. help people and, and entrepreneurs become self-sustainable with the assistance of family and friends that are in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. right? So if it is a business that you know is viable, we do has no reason to not accept it. And in addition, there was a case that I saw, I believe it was, it might have been in Cameroon, I'm, I'm not sure, but this, um, so an entrepreneur started this business and by the end of the project, the business did not take off as, as it was projected to. Mm -hmm. okay? And this entrepreneur was still allowed to apply for a second grant because it was not, you know, business, in business these things happen. So it does not always, um, uh, prosper that first time, but if it's a if it's a viable business idea, then you will get the chance to apply for another. We do original grant, right? <laughs> but up to three times. So as mentioned, the entrepreneur gets to apply for for the we do grant up to three times, separately. So one project at a time. However, as a donor, you have three chances for the we do original grant and you are able to have three projects running concurrently. Of course, this would be with different entrepreneurs. Okay, <laughs> yes, just a clarification. If you, by, by saying you are allowed up to three projects, does it mean for each project you have um, like up to maximum, was it uh, 2,500 for each project or for all the three projects you have up to that for, maximum? For each project. For each project. Ah, yes. okay, that's good. 
Yeah. So okay. just to clarify, you are out, you're, you're allowed three original grants from WIDU and one Corona business grant. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay. Are there any more questions? No, not from my side. My side, Victoria, Virginia. I'll just check. Um, Eva, I don't know if you have access to the Facebook side. Uh, hold on one second. Let me check. I don't think there were any questions. Yeah, not. Okay. So if there are any questions on the Facebook side, Shafazalini and Dikeni, and we will try to answer. So Eva is, is also here and she is on the inside in terms of we do. She helps with the response to the questions that you send via email. So if um, you're sending questions or you're, you're emailing and there's a delay, um, I can also ask Eva Kongalia. <laughs> no, no pressure, Eva. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. So um, just uh, one more thing um, that I would like to mention to all the applicants for, for the WIDU grant and especially the WIDU original grant. For those who have time sensitive projects, there are many of you that um, have complaints about delays that are happening. So I mentioned first and foremost, do not send money to the entrepreneur back home until you've been prompted in the second step to send money to the entrepreneur because there may be changes that you need to make to the investment plan or other clarifications or a delay in the coach visit, okay? As mentioned, the verification that you will do with the receipts uploading the, how you spent the money, this needs to be done post acceptance of the project proposal. So do not send money until we do has told you that you can send money, okay? Otherwise you cannot use old receipts to show that you know we had spent money before on this same project, that will not be allowed. Then, okay, secondly, for, as I mentioned, for time sensitive projects like farming projects, um, please, when you start off this project, keep in mind that we do is giving you a grant as assistance. So the idea is that you would have already spent this money on this project. You, this is a project that will be ongoing even beyond the WIDU grant, okay? So if you are planning in line with the WIDU grant having come in, that is fine. But keep in mind that the WIDU grant may not come in exactly as the time you put in your investment plan. So since it started, even with my own project, there was a delay of about a month and a half up to two months of the widow money coming in. So the project itself had to continue. So money needed to be borrowed from other sources, okay? Make sure that you have enough money to keep it going. The grant once accepted will not be rescinded. They, they will not change their mind, okay? But it might not come at the time that you expect it to. So please keep in mind that you should have some backup money, just in case the widow money does not come in exactly when you had planned for it to come. Why? Because of bureaucracy, delays, things happen as they are. And currently we do is um, working on an image campaign and fixing the website. Maybe Eva can also add on to that, exactly what's going on behind the scenes with we do. So um, as far as I know, we are working on, um, yes, as Clara mentioned, the image campaign to promote us on social media even further, especially also for um, the countries in East Africa, Kenya, and Ethiopia. Yes, and that should be up soon. So um, th there was also an explanation that um, if there is a delay in responses via email as well, the the site is going through changes, through updates and all that. So there may be delays in responses. Just try and be a little bit patient. 
understand that um, we are encouraging you to do this because it's an opportunity to get some extra money to help somebody back home to boost someone. Think of it in this way, okay? So that um, you are not too frustrated when the money is delayed. But please encourage people to take advantage of the opportunity. So much can, can be done with 2,500 euros, with 1,000 euros extra that's put into a business back home. The opportunities are endless. And as we know, in, in Kenya, you can create a business from literally anything, whether it's online, whether it's on the street, whether it's products, whether it's farming, start off small, encourage somebody back home to actually start doing something so that they can be self-sustainable, make their own money in some way, especially right now when the corporate employment is a little bit um, unsustainable, right? So um, I don't know what else we can add on. Eva, is there anything else you can add on? No? Okay, do we have any last questions? Yeah, yeah. No, I think we are working on a new website. Mm -hmm. um, and I think as far as I understood it, that website will also explain the process more detailed. Okay. So, okay. okay. Um, I have a question. Do you have some training uh, days where people come and see how the business plan is done? Because uh, doing it alone is also not that easy. Is that what I realized? Yes. Um, we don't currently have any training days under, under Quig, although that could be arranged. Um, I could, so as, as a widow con consultant, what I can do is hold information sessions like this one that we have. And I can also have a one-on-one -on -one session with you or a group of you specifically that would like to get more information or ask more questions on, on, the, on different parts or different steps of the project. So I could also have a session maybe next week in Kiwela during the week to really explain exactly how the, the investment plan should be done or the, the first step of the, of the business proposal can be done. I can try that, Virginia. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, just one more question. Um, Virginia, do you know Victoria or, or are you in, uh, in, in, in Quig? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, you hear about this? I'm in oh, Quig. Quig. Okay, yeah. okay. So you could contact me directly as well, you know? Yeah. So that we can discuss I'm this. in Quig. But I don't know why the ladies from Quig, they don't also come for this um, meeting yeah. because uh, it's something helping each and they see it. Maybe tomorrow we're having a group a meeting with some ladies from Renan Falls and Salan from Quig. Maybe I can also. explain it. Yes, yes, that, is, that one would be perfect. Also, there are many of, of them following on uh, Facebook, so they will watch, they will hear about it, yeah. But yes, if you, uh, and as mentioned as well, this video will be shared on the Quig YouTube channel, so that anybody else that has similar questions is able to see. Um, yeah. Um, one more question. Yes. Are there is is uh, this funds? Is there a limitation to how, up to how many projects we do can support? Uh, I mean, like, do you have limited funds or? So and we do will fund you up to two thousand five hundred euros. No, no, no. I mean, like uh, generally, like maybe in Kenya you have up to I don't know one thousand one thousand people who you can fund or something like that is it uh, limited or how so, does it look like i am not sure maybe eva do you know do you have this insider information um so for example in cameroon we i think the project like we do in cameroon currently is paused because i think there was just an overflow of applications of projects that were eligible and could have been funded. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, I think Kenya does not have a lot of project applications. So we're very, so like projects from Kenya, we're very looking forward to. So I don't think there is a limit right now for Kenya at least. Okay, okay, mm. thank you. So um, as 
like just to, to, to add on, as far as I know, Cameroon got to about 2,000 project applications that were funded, and then theirs was paused. Kenya, at the moment, I don't know if we've gone beyond 50 applications. So our numbers are still pretty low. We still have a chance to improve. Yeah. But I think that I'm pretty sure that we will communicate if there is, like, if we reach a point where we think Kenya would soon stop um, approving projects, I, we will definitely communicate that. Okay. So if you don't see anything on Facebook mentioning anything related to it, then I wouldn't worry about that because I know that Kenya is one of the countries that has the least projects so far. Okay. Um, do you know, are we at the bottom of, of, the, of the list in, in terms of project applications? We are? Yeah, but I, I also think that's because Kenya was the country that was most recently added. Okay, okay. So, so I think the project, okay. like we do for Kenya Open a few months ago, right? While mm -hmm. Cameroon and Ghana has been going on for, I think, a year. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Over a year, I think, but okay. Yeah. So we still have time. We still have time. Mutori, yeah. please share the information. Share with the Kenyan men. Yeah, I will try. I will try to share it with everybody. Mm -hmm. I think... Uh, they might uh, find it helpful. So, so as mentioned, let us information about this. So it might not seem like much, it might seem like a lot of effort. But at the end of the day, we are receiving um, a, a grant and there's no reason to let the opportunity pass without giving it a try, right? Okay, um, I think maybe we can end this session for today. We are at 4.52, which is within the time. Clara, that... I just have a small question, Clara, please. Sama, sama, sama. Mm -hmm. What did your colleague say about Ethiopia? I didn't get it. She, she mentioned Ethiopia, but I didn't understand. I didn't follow. Eva? Um, so we are working. So, so far, we do was represented in Ghana, Cameroon, which is on pause. Um, Kenya and Ethiopia and also Tunisia is in the planning. So oh. Ethiopia and Tunisia are, we do is going to Open. Um, be implemented in Tunisia and uh, Ethiopia. Okay, not yet, yeah? Okay. Not yet, but soon. Mm. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. And also there'll be a lot more information on social media about um, we do in Kenya, so that when you share the information, you're able to also see that it is, it's happening in Kenya, in, in Kenya. Also, if you have information about people who have gotten the grant, let them also share that information because I've spoken with lots of Kenyans who are saying, yes, they've heard about we do, but they've not heard about anyone that has gotten the grant. Okay, so we need to share the positivity about it. Yes, it's difficult and tedious, but people are taking advantage of it and benefiting from it. So please share this information. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Last words? Okay. Um. Then I will close the session for today. We will arrange another one. Um, as soon as possible. If we have a session with a small group of ladies, at least to explain the business plan, that will also be recorded and shared so that um, everybody has access to it. So yes, have a good evening and a good rest of the weekend for everybody. Thank you for joining in on Facebook and here and share the, share the information. Now I can know what to. Okay. okay, bye Clara. So bye 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 everybody. Thanks Eva for joining and helping. Bye Clara. Oh.